Hello friends, we are not employed by Fang Company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do reverse uh, linked list problem, and uh, essentially this is a very easy but very important lead code problem as it has been asked at bunch of different companies. So this problem has been asked in companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, Bloomberg, Facebook, uh, Google, Nvidia, Adobe, Uber, and also IBM, eBay, PayPal other companies like Goldman Sachs and then ByteDance and a few other companies. So I'm paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. Hello friends, I got my results back from the from my Goldman Sachs interview and I didn't clear it, which means that I have a long way to go and I still have to do a lot of work on my coding and lead coding skills. This is a lead code easy problem and it is one of the most like problems on lead code. Uh, basically we are given a head of a singly linked list and we need to reverse the given list and then we need to return the reverse list. So problem statement is quite easy to understand and, and even if we see the example, the example is also quite easy to understand. Basically we are given a list like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, we are at this position and we are given this head value of this linked list and basically we need to return the reverse list so in this case the reverse list is going to be 5 4 3 2 1 so essentially we are just iterating over in this direction and this is what we need to return now the thing is there happens to be a little bit more complexity because we are told that this is a singly linked list so in singly linked list all the elements are just stored in a single manner which means that this element only knows that what elements comes after it it does not know that what is the element before it that is pointing to this position so this is the concept of a singly linked list and uh, we will see that how can we solve this problem okay so we need to reverse the linked list and we are told that the linked list we are given is actually a singly linked list the thing is that what is the property of a singly linked list that the link the every node in the given linked list actually has the value of that particular node and also has the pointer towards the next node inside the linked list and whenever we encounter that next node is actually pointing towards nerd, null a value we can determine that this is the end of the given singly linked list the issue over here is that we know that at any single position what is the value after it using this next pointer but we don't know that what was the value before it there is no way for us to identify this particular item which means that our aim is to find that how to reverse this linked list and in order to reverse this linked list what we can do is rather than pointing towards the next pointer we can if we, at any given position for all the nodes if we just point it towards the reverse direction and basically start our linked list traversal from the last node uh, we can simply return the reverse linked list immediately and this is the approach we are going to take now the question comes that how at any point we can actually uh, originally we were pointing on this side how can we start pointing on the reverse direction from any single node and in order to do that what we will have to do is we will have to keep track of the previous character or previous node as well and apart from keeping track of the current node so the approach we are going to use in this case is that every single position suppose we are at this element so this is the current element we are at right from this current element we know that how to get to the current dot next or which means that how to go to the next element we already know that, know that. the question is we don't know that how to go back so what we are going to do is we are going to keep track of a previous character or previous node that will always be behind this current node so in this case this would become our previous node and all we will have to do is that over here the current dot next is actually pointing towards this node 3 so rather than current dot next pointing towards this node we are going to have current dot next point towards the previous element and we are going to do iteratively for all the values so initially at, be, at the beginning this would be our previous and this would be our current so over here the this value will be pointing towards this on this side so null value now again oh, we will switch our values for previous and current so this would become our previous and this would become our current and again we will flip the value and again we will repeat the same process so this would become our previous this would become our current again we will flip the direction and at the end 
this would become our previous and if we see the previous dot next element it would be a null sequence so we would know that okay this is the end of the original linked list so this has to be the start of the new linked list and then we can just start iterating over which means that we would have taken care of all of these pointers and now we can simply return the reverse linked list in this fashion and this would be our answer so if we see the time and space complexity in this matter the time complexity for this one would be big o of n and the space complexity would only be big o of 1 because at any given position all we have to do is just keep track of couple of variables nothing more than that and that that should take care of all the scenarios so first of all we are going to create a new list node and we are going to name it as previous and uh, we are going to initialize the value as null and we are also going to create a list node called current and uh, we will have it uh, start at the head value okay now we are going to iterate over the given link list so while current is not equal to null we are going to keep running in the loop and inside the loop uh, essentially we have to uh, flip the values between current and previous so what we can do is current uh, dot next would be our previous node and then for the previous node we will have to flip it to current node and for the current node we will have to go to the next node in the original singly linked list so for that we will have to create a temporary variable so let's create a new node uh, and we are going to name it as temp and we are going to store the current dot next node over here and now for the current node we are going to point it to this temp because notice because remember over here we are updating this current dot next value so that's why okay and uh, yeah i think this is it after this loop ends uh, we should have our uh, link list reverse so we can simply return the head as previous uh, variable and uh, this should be it let's try to run this code it seems like our solution is working let's try to submit the code okay our code actually runs a hundred percent faster than all the other solution because it's running in constant time and uh, I would be posting this in the comments. You can check it out from there. Thank you.